This is Alan Neander speaking to you from Guitar Point Vintage Guitars <coughs> in Maintal, Germany. Today with a, a lot of guitar. It's a it's a 1999 comparably young guitar for us. Uh, a 1999 ES5 Switchmaster. Uh, one of the uh, uh, famous Gibson jazz models that have a plywood top, so it's not a ma uh, massive guitar, but as ES uh, 175s and so on have taught us, sometimes plywood uh, sounds better for certain purposes. Uh, especially, it's, they're a little less feedback, uh, you know, have feedback problems than uh, massive guitars. But um, I'll show you the pickups. This is, the switching system is uh, uh, neck pickup, middle pickup, bridge pickup, all of them, so. <laughs> you know, for it, it, it is kind of a jazz guitar, of course, but this has comparably light strings, and so it can be useful, uh, as I showed you, for semi-distorted semi stuff, it's also very nice. That's the middle pickup. The bridge pickup. Uh, that's the bridge pickup. And all of them together. Kind of interesting. It almost sounds like a four position on the strat, so. So this is, I mean, it can be used if I, if you put heavier strings on it, flat ones or whatever, it can be perfectly used for jazz. But in this setup, it's kind of an in-between guitar. You can play jazz on it, but you can also play bluesy, you know, rootsy stuff with it. It's, it's a versatile guitar. And I remember seeing, um, uh, I think the, the, there was a, uh, the Bangladesh concert in 1974. I, I saw Eric Clapton playing one of those. And he sounded pretty cool with that. It was not very distorted. He played through a Fender, but it was it was a perfectly usable guitar in, under the, these circumstances. So this is a 1999 uh, Gibson ES5 Switchmaster. And this is Ali Neander from Guitar Point Vintage Guitars in Maintal, Germany. Thank you. Bye bye.